How long are you going to keep depending on your son, Anastasia? Get away from him, old hag. Don't you ever think that you're better than me? Wait a minute. Esther, what's wrong with you? Huh? I was just being nice to you since my husband-to-be was there. Don't get carried away just because you're going to be my mother-in-law. You're a completely different person. Did I do or say something to offend you? I'm annoyed that you're asking me so many questions. You even ask me to teach you how to use apps? Why don't you just use the internet and search for some sort of user manual? But you were so kind to me earlier. That's because Marco was there. I can't just treat you badly in front of him. I wonder why you don't understand that. But don't you think I'll tell Marco that you're being rude to me? I don't think you have the courage to do that. Besides, if you tell him, you'll be depriving your son's happiness. Am I right? Yes, you're right. What a lousy woman! Why do you think of me that way? I hate your wishy-washy personality. People who are flabby aren't attractive. If you are the person who gave birth to Marco, you should be more brash and beautiful. Why don't you just have the confidence and be magnificent? Are you really Marco's biological mother? Marco is truly the child I gave birth to. Stop insulting me. Anyway... My dream was to go shopping and cooking together with you. But you're so boring, so I can't do those things with you. How dare you crush my dream? I'm sorry about that. You're right. I'm not a great cook, but I can teach you how to cook Marco's favorite food. What? I already know how to cook that, so you don't have to teach me. I know Marco better than you. Yes. You're going to be his wife, aren't you? Why are you so humble after being told all this? Aren't you angry? I don't understand. You are the love of my son's life. So I believe in you, Esther. If so, give me some money. Money? What are you going to do with the money? I want to get more cosmetics, bags and stuff, so that I can be a wonderful wife for Marco. You believe in me, right? Then please buy me some. I don't think collecting cosmetics and bags will make you a great wife. You'd be more beautiful if you improve yourself by studying or something similar to that. Oh my god! Are you a dinosaur or what? We're living in modern era. Anyway, I don't want to be your caregiver in the future. I'm sorry. If you're sorry, can you send me $500 in the form of a gift card right away? Gift card? How should I do that? Jeez! You don't even know how to do that? Jump to this URL and send it to me. I'm not sure, but I'll take a look. Send it to me by the end of the day. I won't forgive you if you don't do that. I'll try. Just stop doing anything unnecessary, will you? Did I do something I shouldn't? I don't remember anything about that. You sent me fish and pumpkin pie again. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't like that? I don't want it anymore, so don't send it to me. You didn't like it? You said it was delicious when you were eating with Marco, so I made it again for you. I'm sorry. I didn't know that you didn't like it. I'll be careful next time. I can't stand the smell of that dish! It makes me nauseous. Yuck! Sorry to hear that. Anyway, it's Marco's favorite food. So you should give it all to him. I'm sure he'll eat it. I already threw it in the trash can. I can't believe you just did that.
What's wrong with that? That's enough. There are things you are allowed to do and things you are not allowed to do. I can't believe you don't know that. Huh? Are you angry? Of course. If you think I won't get angry no matter what you do, you are mistaken. There are people who need food but aren't capable to get it. Besides, don't you feel sorry for the farmers and fishermen who work hard to provide the ingredients for the pie? You are so childish. I'm surprised. I can't believe that suddenly you're lecturing me. You're just angry because I threw away the pie you spent so much time and effort to make, right? What a bunch of crap. I was shocked that someone threw away a pie I made with love, that's for sure. But I'm more upset about the act of wasting food like what you did. That's too shallow. Are you telling me that you won't forgive me? Are you gonna tell Marco to? That's horrible! I don't care about that at all. I understand that you don't like me, Esther. I think it's inevitable. People have likes and dislikes. But I don't want you to be the kind of person who does something like this. So I hope you'll reflect on that a little and your behavior from now on. You're the one who needs to be sorry for sending me pie because I'm sick of your long-windedness. Oh, for heaven's sake. I wonder what's the point of having this conversation with you. Don't you feel guilty at all? Why should I? I didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's too bad. Let me think about you for a while. What do you mean? I don't know what you're thinking about, but seriously? Don't do anything unnecessary, okay? The wedding is next month, and Margot's happiness is to get married to me. Don't you ever forget that. Yes, I understand. Give me a break, will you? How long are you in a daze? Why are you ignoring me? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. I was sleeping, so I didn't notice. I heard that you fell sick and was hospitalized. We had to postpone the wedding because of you. Of course, Marco would be worried about that. You've got to be kidding me. You should have just held the wedding as planned without worrying about me. Marco insisted on inviting you and he wouldn't listen to me. That's seriously the worst. He's so stubborn. Marco is such a sweet boy. It's not a big deal anyway, right? Get out of the hospital as soon as possible. We don't have enough time to prepare for the wedding. Why don't you just go home and sleep instead? I've been thinking about you lately. What are you saying out of the blue? You're so creepy. You're beautiful and you're a great girlfriend of Marco in front of everyone. But I'm not sure how long that will last. Someone's true personality is something that comes out unknowingly. Huh? What do you mean? I'm worried that when you have children, they'll grow up with a scar in their hearts because of how you'll treat them. As for me, I'm a human and I have a heart. I know that you are a human, so you don't have to tell me. You're not even willing to listen to me seriously. It's very important to listen to what other people have to say. What good does it do to listen to you seriously? You're annoying me. I've been struggling with this for a long time. I've been wondering if it's okay to keep your true personality hidden from Marco. I'm afraid he will regret it if he gets married to you. That's why I've been thinking about this matter for quite a while. Don't tell Marco about what I've done to you. I've made up my mind. I'll tell him everything. As his mother, I can't keep quiet. What are you talking about? You don't care if your son can't get married? I'm not saying I won't let him marry anyone. If he accepts the real you, I'll accept you too. But if you're deceiving him, I thought I should tell him that.
It's obvious, isn't it? Seriously? Don't do anything unnecessary. Are you trying to ruin someone else's happiness? I'm sorry. I'll leave everything to Marco's judgment. Because of you, we broke up. Are you going to take responsibility for what you did? I'm glad to hear that. I think you would be happier to be with someone who can accept you for who you are. In this case, unfortunately, Marco isn't the one. No way! It must have been hard for you to live your life hiding everything about your true personality from Marco. I'm sure Marco will meet someone better than you in the future, and I'm happy for him. This is the best solution for everyone. It's not good for me! I wanted to be with Marco, even if I need to keep hiding my true personality. Don't measure people's happiness by your own values. Why do you want to be with him? Is it because his income is over $100,000 a year and you want to live a glamorous life every day? Then show off to everyone around you about how wealthy you are? Huh? What are you talking about? Of course it's because I love Marco. I seriously don't get it. That's ridiculous. If you really love him, you wouldn't cheat on him, would you? What do you mean? Marco was aware that you were cheating behind his back. There was a time when you were acting strange, and he got curious, so he had the detective to check it out. Here's the picture. No kidding! Did Marco know about my affair? Oh no! I heard that he didn't mention about that to you because he thought you weren't serious with the guy you're having an affair with. Marco sure is such a nice guy, just as I expected. You've realized it now, haven't you? Marco isn't just a guy with a high income. He also has a good personality. There are many more wonderful things about him. I'm sorry, Anastasia. I will change my mind from now on. So please, let me marry Marco. That's not up to me. Marco already decided to break up with you, right? Then I don't think it's possible to start over again with him. I don't think people's feelings can change that quickly. Why don't you persuade him? I need your help! If it was only about the affair, he said that he wouldn't have decided to break up with you. He said he doesn't want to spend the rest of his life with a woman who would bully his mother. I wasn't serious about that! I was only teasing you. With your help, maybe we could work something out? I'm sorry, but... I can't help you because I honestly don't want him to marry you either. Oh no! And then Marco said that he's going to ask for alimony because you cheated on him while you two were still engaged. All you can do now as an adult is to take responsibility for what happened, Esther. I want you to start a new life from here. Huh? Alimony? Of course that's impossible. There's no way I can pay it. I don't know. It's not my decision to make. I'm sure you and Marco need to talk about the rest. Anyway, I won't contact you anymore. Wait! Just help me, please! I can't afford to pay for the alimony. Anastasia, please don't abandon me. I wish you and your boyfriend a happy life. My boyfriend has a wife, so he can't get married to me. You know that, don't you? Then I'll have to tell his wife about the affair too. Huh? Seriously, don't do anything unnecessary. I'm sorry. I'm a bit meddlesome because I was born in the era when dinosaurs still exist. And I have a strong sense of justice too. Seriously, stop that. I can't pay it if you charge me more. I hope you will have remorse about what you've done. Well then, goodbye. In this case, Marco has demanded $8,000 for the alimony from Esther. With the help of a detective, we also contacted the wife of the cheating partner. 
Esther had to pay a total of $18,000. She deserves that, right? I would like to support Marco since it seems that he was not a good judge of women. I think he learned a lot about life this time. Anyway, I've heard a lot about wife and mother-in-law problems, but I never thought that I got bullied by someone who was about to be my daughter-in-law. A year later, Marco introduced me to his new girlfriend. She is a very kind and pretty girl, so I think we will have a good relationship with each other this time. Hey, why don't you reply to my messages? Just break up with my darling right away. What did you say? I can't believe you didn't get what I just said. I'm telling you to break up with Darren. Sorry, I think you're messaging the wrong person. Darren and I are engaged. Who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend. We're getting married soon, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, come on! Don't you get it, old hag? You should be shocked that your fiancé was taken away from you. That's not true. Darren and I are planning to get married next month. I think he'll probably break up with you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. After all, he has a hot 22-year-old girlfriend now, and it's me! Of course, even Darren would prefer a young woman to an old woman like you. He said he has no interest in anyone but me. How did you get my number? It's personal information. I got it from Darren's phone. I know his password. That's how intimate a relationship is. So you're saying that you're having an affair with Darren, aren't you? Me? A cheating partner? Of course not! I'm his real lover, and you're the cheating partner. Darren told me about you, but we decided to start dating. What did Darren say? He said that he'll break up with you soon, so he wants me to wait for a while. I see. Too bad, auntie. It's not my fault if you can't get married because you're too old. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'll ask Darren about you. Is your name Jade? Yes, I'm Jade. Got it. You and Darren have been together for about three years, right? Maybe he feels sorry for you, so he couldn't talk about breaking up. Please consider his feelings, okay? Darren, do you know a girl called Jade? Who's that? I don't know her. She texted me just now. She said that she wants me to break up with you. According to Jade, she's your girlfriend. No kidding. I know nothing about that. Really? Can I trust you? Well, yes, of course. We're getting married next month. There's no way I would cheat on you at such an important time. I think it was just a prank. Even if it was a prank, she seemed to know so much about you. Isn't it strange that you don't know her at all? Who on earth is that girl? Maybe there's someone who has a grudge against you, and she's the one behind this prank. I would never cheat on you. I'm going to marry you, Sandra. I'm devoted to you. Trust me. I want to believe you, but... Lately, I've found it difficult to get in touch with you. And you've been cancelling a lot of our dates too. I feel a little anxious. I must say that you are suspicious somehow. I'm sorry about that. It's because of my poor time management. I need to manage my schedule better. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again after we get married. So don't worry about that. Okay then. But I don't think I can get married to you unless this matter is solved. What? Why? Are you doubting me? Well, no one can get married under the suspicion of a cheating partner. I'm worried too. 
Even if it's just a prank, I won't feel comfortable until it's solved. That's a good point. I'll try to do more research on that person whose name is Jade. So you should block that girl and ignore her already. Why? I'm sure we can get some information by talking to Jade. It's not safe. What if she does some nasty things to you? I'm worried about you. Did she text you? I don't think so. Anyway, just do what you are told, okay? Well, okay then. Jade, sorry to keep you waiting. How was it? What I said was true, wasn't it? You're going to break up with Darren, aren't you? No, I checked with him and he said that he doesn't know anyone named Jade. He said that it may be just a prank. What did you say, Auntie? Have you ever considered about Darren's feelings? I think it's just a prank. Huh? It's not a prank. It's the truth. I got a message from him just now. What did he say? He scolded me. I just received a lot of angry texts telling me not to talk without permission. I told you everything on behalf of him anyway. I wonder why he's angry. I have no idea. Why don't you just say goodbye to him? I'm sure it will all work out. You don't want to make things more complicated, do you? I think you're lying since Darren hasn't said anything about breaking up with me. Moreover, you don't have any proof that you're in a relationship with him. I have proof with me. I can show it to you if you want to. Really? If you have proof, show it to me then. See? A selfie of me and Darren. There's no doubt about it, right? I can't tell if the two of you are really dating or not. You don't have to be in a deep relationship to take a selfie, do you? It may be just a coincidence for you to be sitting next to each other with Darren. What about this? You can tell me and Darren are in love, can't you? It sure looks like both of you are on a date. I win! I told you that it wasn't a prank, didn't I? After all, young girls are more attractive than old ladies. It can't be help, auntie. I'm only three years older than you. Oh well, thanks for making it so easy to get the evidence. You saved me a lot of trouble. What do you mean? Don't you feel sad since you won't be the wife of a company's president anymore? Wife of a company's president? What are you talking about? Will you listen to me? My dream is to become a wife of a company's president and live a happy life. That's why I'm going to marry Darren right away. I don't get it. Are you telling me that you don't know about that? Darren is the next president of a company. His father is the current president, and he's going to be his successor in a little while. Oh, I see. So you want to get married to Darren just because you want to make your dreams to become a company's president wife come true. Am I right? I was so lucky to meet a person who's going to be the next company's president at the blind date event. It was a time when I was stuck in job hunting. I'm so glad I participated at that event. I'm going to live a happy life from now on. What are you blabbering about? If I marry the next company's president, I won't have to work, right? That's why I stopped looking for a job right away. I'm sorry, are you jealous of me? Oh my... My life is in easy mode now. Anyway, I'll break up with Darren. Then you can do whatever you want. But you knew that Darren and I were engaged and you were cheating with him. So I'm going to make a firm demand for alimony from both of you. 
Alimony? Yeah, whatever. Why don't you just do whatever you want? I'll have my soon-to-be company's president, Darren, who'll pay it out. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, that's impossible. Huh? Why? Because he won't be the next company's president anymore. I mean, he'll probably get fired from the company. I'm sure his parents will be pissed at him for cheating on his fiancée. But his parents aren't cruel either. So they'll forgive him and he'll become the next company's president. Don't you think so? You know what? I think you've misunderstood something. Darren's dad isn't the company's president. Huh? Then what is he doing? Darren said that his dad has been working as a real estate staff of an apartment in North Carolina since he retired. I don't know if he's still doing that job. No way! My father is the company's president. After we get married, I was thinking of having Darren to take over the company. But now that we are breaking up, this whole thing is off the table. I'm glad I found out about Darren's true personality before we got married. What? You're lying! Why should I lie to you? So even if I get married to Darren, he's just an office worker, isn't he? Well, he may lose his job soon. What? He may get fired for what he has done. He's been working for our company for the past six months in order to become the next company's president. That's too bad. I'm sure my father will fire him right away when I tell him about Darren cheating behind my back. Oh no! I can't let that happen! I'm about to graduate from college! But I don't have any job! How am I going to pay for the alimony? You said I could ask for as much alimony as I wanted, right? I haven't forgotten your words. I'll definitely charge you. How much do I have to pay? Something between $500? I don't know. I haven't talked to a lawyer yet. Anyway, I did some research and found out that the market rate is around $20,000. Are you kidding me? There's no way I can pay that. It's impossible. You have no choice. You must take responsibility for what you've done. I'm sorry. I apologize, so please pretend that it never happened. I'll return Darren back to you. I can't pay you the alimony. I don't need Darren anymore either, so you don't need to return him to me. You can have him. Then what should I do to make you forgive me? I'll do anything, so please forgive me. Then just pay for the alimony. That's all I need. Other than that, please? I can't think of any. Then at least let me work for your company. I'll pay you the alimony while I work. We may be a small company, but we select the best people through interviews. We will never hire someone like you. Please do your best to earn the money you need. My lawyer will contact you shortly. Oh no! Please, wait! I'm still young! I still have a long way to go in life, so help me! Soon after, I met with Darren in person and talked with his parents about calling off the engagement. I was disappointed to see Darren trying to get away by lying with such a nonchalant expression on his face. There was no way he could get away with such a lie since I have the proof with me. My father was furious and immediately fired Darren from the company. Also, he decided to charge Darren for $15,000. As for me, I charged Jade for $5,000 for alimony. Although she was desperately looking for a job since then, she couldn't find a job that would allow her to pay the $5,000 while living alone. Recently, she started working at the Red Light District. Darren and Jade deserve that. I hope they reflect on their own stupidity. But well, I feel sorry for my father since he just lost his successor. For now, 
The only solution to that is to have him continue being the company's president for a little longer.